Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have learned how to change the port uh, number of embedded uh, Tomcat server in a Spring Boot uh, web application, right? So we have seen there are many approach through which we can change the port number of your embedded Tomcat server. But uh, those approaches are just a configurable approach like uh, in application.properties file you can have a property is called server.port and here you can assign the some port number and application will start on that port we have also seen how to set the port number uh, by going to the run configuration and here in the environment you can click on the new and here you can specify the server underscore port and here you can assign the server port number and we have also seen in v, uh, here argument section here you can write a hyphen server server dot port equal to you can assign now any port right so these are the way to change the server port number and uh, you can also while running the uh, this application from the command prompt using executable jar you can uh, use the uh, command line argument to change the uh, server port number right so those are the approaches that is just a configurable kind of approach but if you want to change a ser uh, embedded Tomcat server port using uh, programmatic approach then of course you can do that. So first programmatic approach we are going to discuss appli uh, a Spring application right this is a class a, a Spring application has a method is called set default properties and that is used to uh, change a Spring Boot default properties. Suppose we want to change the default port then we need to create a map and put a port with a key server underscore port uh, and uh, value you can assign the specific value and in that way you can change the uh, container port number so let's see how we can do that so I'm going to comment this section and here uh, a spring application uh, this object I'm, I'm going to create explicit like new uh, a spring application and here you can have a different constructor right uh, one of the constructor is takes class as an argument that I'm going to use so here you can explicitly assign this class like this dot class okay now you get the reference of a spring application now here uh, what you can do uh, here you can create a map something like this map and uh, key you can assign a string and value you can give a, an object and I would say uh, config map sorry map equals to and you can take the any implement implementation of map so I'm going to take a hash map hash map right and do control shift o for organize import and in this config map uh, you can add a lot of key and value pairs so here i'm going to add only one key is called server underscore port is the key and value you can assign like 8585 8, this is the value which i'm going to assign okay now there are a lot many things we can configure so here this video in this video basically just we are focusing on uh, to change the port number of the server but uh, still there are many more property i mean servlet container property you can change over here right now now this class is having a method as we discussed set uh, something is called default properties uh, here you can see that takes a map as an argument and this map you have to pass it over here okay after doing this what you will have to do application dot run method will have to call and here you will have to pass this argument okay and that's it we are done we are good to go now if i run this application then tomcat should start on the port 8585 so let me show you let's run as a spring boot application and here you can see now 
our application is running on the port 8585 right and here we have our one uh, restful application restful class right restful controller there we have a one uh, rest api which is having a url uri as slash so if i go to the browser and if i type http colon slash slash localhost and if i try to hit uh, port 8585 then we'll get a response like hello world right so our application is running successfully on 8585 port so this is the first approach to change the uh, i mean uh, uh, tomcat port right so what i'll do i'll do some refactoring over here so we can do some refactoring kind of stuff over here so uh, here we can do refactoring Uh, refactor I would say extract method and set port just I have given this method name and do this right so if you want to run this code snippet then uh, you can uncomment it this I am going to comment it now now we are not setting any port number then Tomcat is should start running on the 8080 now Tomcat is running the 8080 uh, dev tools I have added in my class path that's why we don't need to restart the server again as we discussed in the previous video so this video has a oh, uh, I mean two part so if you would uh, if you didn't watch uh, my first video part then just go and watch that you will understand so now uh, second approach we are going to use and uh, uh, from that approach we will learn how to change this uh, I mean server port number programmatically again so uh, now this is uh, another approach and uh, uh, basically our uh, interface is called embedded servlet container customizer so we can change embedded uh, servlet container default setting by resisting a bean that implements basically embedded servlet container customizer interface and we need to override its customize method and there we can set uh, a lot of properties one of the properties server port as well right so what we can do we can create a class in the same package or different package uh, where our bootstrap class is available so here let me first show you the that interface so press ctrl shift t and try to search uh, interface is called embedded embedded servlet container customizer servlet container container customizer so this is the uh, interface I was talking about so what I'll do I will create a class which will implement this interface and will override its customized method so, so let's go to the package where our bootstrap class is available and here I'm gonna create this class uh, embedded servlet container customizer bean and this is gonna implement this interface right it is straightforward ok finish and here uh, we will have opportunity to override customized method now container which is a uh, reference of configurable embedded servlet container and here you can change a lot of property one of the property is called set port right set port and here we can assign the new port number like 7171 right and let's save this code and you can investigate the console now uh, now this class we will have to annotate as at the rate component so that this instant this will register with the spring container this will instantiate it and register with the spring container as this will not be instantiated and if you can see the console now server is started on the port 7171 right now this is another approach to change the tomcat port uh, number using 
programmatic approach right and these all approaches uh, what we have discussed in the previous video as well as in this video this will work for the embedded server like jt and under 2 as well right this approach is not gonna change for the other uh, embedded server like uh, jt as well as under 2 now our server is running on the port number 7171 you go to the here and here if you try to hit this url http colon slash slash localhost and 7171 then we should get a response right and we are getting this response right so that means our application is running perfectly fine so i hope you enjoyed this learning uh, this code i am going to put on the github and github location you will get uh, in the video description itself so if you have any query any question then please do post below to the video i will try to answer those queries as soon as possible thanks for watching this video and see you next video